Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's stitch guide is for the, what I call the candles, candle in the window. <laughs> I know it's an odd little name, but to me that looks like little candles in archway windows. Little candlesticks or a flame in the window. I don't know. Anyway, this is another super, super easy stitched guide. Um, this is actually a one row repeat. We're going to repeat row two over and over and over again, and then I show you a final row to help straighten up your edge, which is really easy. Um, you can turn this into all sorts of things. I actually, this little panel I did, I wanted to show you because when you work it in just two colors, on one side the blue is prominent, but and then on the other side the yellow is prominent. You see? I thought that was so cute. But anyway... So, you can use whatever yarn, whatever hook the yarn recommends, or whatever yarn you like best with that hook. Doesn't matter what you want to use. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. So, I used a 6 millimeter and a 4 weight yarn, and it makes a cute little design. I think this would work really good for a dish rag or a wash rag. And uh, let's see, the chain multiple for this pattern is any multiple of 10 and then add 7. So 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and then add 7. And that's pretty much it. One row repeat, really easy. You guys are going to love it. Turn it into all kinds of different things. <laughs> all right, get your guys' stuff together and let's get started. All right, to get started, once you have your length of chain worked, we are going to start row one by double crocheting into the fourth chain from our hook. So one, two, three, four. Go right in there with a double crochet. And the skip th three chains that we did right there, that's gonna count as a double. So now we're gonna double into the next uh, three. One, two, and three. So we have four doubles and then that chain three that counts as a double. So technically five doubles right there. Okay, so now we are going to work our pico. So our pico consists of chain three, slip stitch to the third chain. Now, some of you may also know the pico as chain, it's not just chain three, it's chain however many the peak, the pattern that you're following requires, but for this one, it's just chain three. But also, I've seen picos that are chain three and then single crocheted into the third chain from the hook. <clears throat> I did experiment that with that when I was designing this, and I did not like it. It looks so much better with the slip stitch. Um, you can experiment and see what it looks like with single crochets, but working the slip stitch work is a lot nicer. But So we are going to work our pico by chaining three, come down and slip stitch into the third chain from our hook, skip one, double crochet into the next. And we are going to repeat that two more times. Pico. Come down and slip stitch into the third, skip one, double into the next. One more time, I get some slack here. Pico, slip stitch into the third chain from our hook, skip the next chain, double into the next. So we should have three picos. I'll pull up my hook. One, two, three. Okay, so now we double crochet into the next four. One, two, three, and four. So that'll give us five double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And that is what our pattern is gonna be, is gonna consist of five doubles and then the three pico. Five doubles, three pico. Let me show you on this piece. So we've got the three pico, five double. Three pico, five double. 
okay? So that is what you're gonna repeat across your work. Pico three times, double into the next five. So we're gonna start that again. Work our pico, one, two, three, come down and slip stitch into that first, or I'm sorry, the third chain from our hook, skip the next, double into the next. Two more times, pico, slip stitch, skip, double into the next chain. One more time, pico, slip stitch into the third, oop, third chain from our hook, skip the next, double into the next. Okay, double into the next four. One, two, three, and four. So that's what you're going to repeat across your chain. My little pico right there is laying to the back. <laughs> you're going to work your pico, skip, double into the next, pico, skip, double into the next, pico, skip, double into the next, double into the next four. Repeat that again. Pico, two, three, slip stitch, skip, double into the next. Two more times. One, two, three, slip stitch, skip, double into the next. Pico, skip, double into the next. Okay, so once you've worked your three pico, you should have that double crochet right there and then one, two, three, four chains left. So double crochet into the last four chains, giving you a, the set of five double crochet that we need. I was kind of getting a little carried away on the picos. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, and that is the end of row one. And your piece should be looking like this. So we have the skip three chains right there, a double, which the chain three counts as a double, so you should have one, two, three, four, five double, three pico, five double, three pico, five double, three pico. Repeat that across, ending with your five double. Okay, so let me get my hook back on here. All right, to move on to row two, chain one and turn. And row two, we are going to double crochet into each double, so double crochet into that very first double. And then into each double until you get to your pico stitch. So basically double into the first five double. Right there. Okay, now we repeat the pico. Chain three, slip stitch. And now we just jump right to that next double. Double crochet into the next double crochet. Work your pico, double crochet into the next double. One more pico, double crochet into the next double, and then double crochet into the next four. One, two, three, four. And that's as simple as it is. <laughs> you just double into each of your double and pico over the other, the previous rows picos. So double into each double, work your pico, 
slip stitch jump over to that next double double crochet one two three slip stitch double into that next double one more pico slip stitch and double into each of the next doubles and there you go so another super simple easy stitch I think this would be really cute as like a wash rag pattern or a dish rag and that's it, you just repeat row two. One, two, three. Jump to that next double. One, two, three. Slip stitch. Jump to that next double. Work your pico. jump over, double into each double. This is the only time you'll ever have to work into the top of a chain. It's this beginning chain three that we have. Make sure you go into the top of there. And there you go. Chain one, turn, repeat that again. And you just repeat row two until you are until you get to the length you want. <clears throat> Excuse me, I feel like I got a frog in my throat. And once you get to the length you want, then I'm going to show you how to work the final row. So basically the final row just helps straighten up the top edge. So if you look at like this little piece that I made, see how we got the straight bottom and the straight top. So once you get to your desired length, come back here and I'm going to show you how to work the final row. So the final row, we're going to double crochet into the very first double. Dang it. So double into each of your doubles. And once you work into that last double before the pico, the only difference for this final round, we're just going to chain one jump right across, double into the next double. Chain one, jump right across, double into the next double. Chain one, jump across, double into the next double. Double into each double until your next pico. Once you get to that next pico, chain one, jump across, double into the next double. Chain one, jump across, double into the next double. Chain one, jump across, double into the next double, and then double into each double until the next pico. One more. Chain one, jump over, double. Chain one, jump over, double, chain one, jump over, double into each double. And you repeat that all the way across until the end. One more double to work in. And there you go. Chain one, pull up a loop and cut. And there's your candle in the window stitch. <laughs> very, very, very easy. And you can see how it kind of pops out on one side and then a little bit on the other. Let me pull out this piece and show you. You can see it a little better on this. But anyway, there you go. 
There is another easy stitch that you guys can design all kinds of stuff out of. I think you guys can handle that one pretty well. I like this one too. This one works up really quick. Um, plus you get really good at picos. <laughs> All right, well, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what's next. And leave me a comment. Check out the description box, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.